How to apply a stencil. I've got two stencils of the same image because we're going to demonstrate how to apply them two different ways. These are large stencils and uh, you want to be able to apply them so that they stay on the skin during the entire tattoo process. So first thing I do is I apply alcohol on a paper towel. Not only does this clean the tattoo area, but it removes the oil of the skin so that the stencil soaks in better. And if the customer had a hairy back, he would shave the back. Okay, we've got that all wiped down. We'll let that dry for a split second. And what I'll do is I'll take my stencil solution, whatever solution you use, doesn't make a difference, I make my own. Okay. I'm gonna pour some in my hand. Smear it around a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and smear it on the area that we're going to put the stencil. Make sure you get it on there real good. It's gonna dry for a split second. Okay. This first one that I have set up, I have it set up on a piece of uh, acetate. And what this does, it gives it a rigid back so that I can apply it without wrinkles. And I'll show you on this first one how we'll do it. We're not worried about placement here or how beautiful, you know, it's positioned. All we're looking for is that the stencil is on, thick, and it stays. And you want to hold it on there for a minute. You want that thermal transfer ink to really saturate the skin. And this acetate gives it a rigid background and it helps avoid, uh, sometimes you put this thin paper on and it wrinkles and you get all these halos and you know, two and three different parts of the same image. This acetate helps avoid that, it creates a rigid background. Okay, it stayed on long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off. Okay, there's one stencil on the back. Now I'd let that sit on there for a minute and let it dry. And the next thing I do is take a paper towel, cold water. Use it from your squirt bottle, it doesn't matter, distilled water is what I use. Okay, we're gonna soak this paper towel with a little cold water. And I'm gonna take Make sure the whole towel is watered. There you go. And I'm going to spread the towel back out. And I'm going to put it over top of the stencil. And this is going to take the extra stencil uh, off so that when the body heats up during the tattoo process, this uh, thermal transfer ink doesn't spread. Just dab it, just like that, and you'll see all this extra stencil come off. Final step, I'll take another paper towel, but a dry one. Press it right on there, hold it. Peel it off. And I'll show you in just a minute that that stencil won't smear at all. Okay. and act like we're tattooing and I'll show you okay very very little stencil on a paper towel you can smear this thing and it's not coming off okay that's how you put on the stencil with acetate I'll show you so if you look at his back 
uh, the client's back. I couldn't even get all the old stencil off. It's so strong. It takes alcohol to get it off. I'm going to show you another way to put a stencil on. Uh, this method is better for smaller stencils because there's less chance of wrinkling and distortion in the, in, in the stencil once you put it on. Same, same pattern. Only difference is no acetate. There's, there's no hard rigid back on this. So what I would do is I would cut around this stencil leaving some of the edge. You don't want to cut it right up to the to the uh, thermal transfer part of it. You want to leave some edge on it. I'm going to show you why. Okay. We got that cut. I'm going to apply a little stencil solution on his back. And if anybody's interested in how to make this stencil solution, hit me on YouTube or SinCityTattoos.com and we'll show you how you can make the stencil solution. I might show you. I might charge you. I don't know. Anyway, okay, here we go. Stencil solution over the same area. The key in making this stencil stay through the whole tattoo process is holding it on there 20 seconds and then blotting it like I did last time with the cold water, then, then the dry paper towel and letting it dry for a minute. That's the key to getting that stencil to stay on there as long as it does. Okay, stencil solution's on. I'm gonna take scissors once I've cut around the stencil and I'm gonna cut some slits in here just so it has the ability to fold around the different muscle groups of the body, okay? Just some random cuts to ensure that it'll, to ensure that it will uh, bend. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're gonna put it in the same general area. Press it on there, hold it. Don't move it, don't reposition your hands because you're gonna get a 14 different images of the same outline. The key here is holding it on long enough, 20 seconds or so, to make sure that it gets in that skin. Okay, and at this time the customer should not move at all. Okay, I'm gonna pull it off now. Okay. As you can see with that method, without the rigid back, you do lose some of the the outline. At which point you could do on large stencils using that rigid back, you won't have this problem. You can do this type of stencil without the rigid back on smaller stencils and it'll be just fine, but on big stencils you need a rigid back. Anyway, sure. there you go, Sin City Tattoos, that's how you put a stencil on real easy. Thank you.